For thousands of years, the Earth has been our home. But soon, it will become our prison. A criminal elite, composed of powerful bankers and owners of large corporations, govern the world from the shadows. And they are one step away from reaching their darkest dreams. One, create a world government dominated by an oligarchic elite. Two, establish a global electronic currency in order to divide the world into two kinds of people, masters and slaves. Three, implant a chip in every person with its biometric information, its personal details and the electronic money that it possesses in order to obtain the absolute control of population. Four, reduce the population to control it more easily and better manage natural resources. The elite is on the point of realizing the dream that all big criminals have lodged a long history. Obtain absolute power in the world. Forever. How were they going to do it? Believe that they can do it through three simultaneous strategic movements. First, economic collapse. The elite will create a large international financial crisis which will culminate in an economic collapse. Then, many people will lose their job and their savings in Europe and USA. After protests grow, the elite will create false anti-system groups that will cause episodes of chaos in order that the population claim the establishment of strong order and authority. The evolution of collapse in Europe and USA will follow different paths. In Europe, the elite generates idea that any alone country cannot overcome the crisis. A centralized European government is born, and national sovereignty is reduced to minimum. Public functions of the state are privatized. Big corporations turn into the state. The political class is discredited. Some politicians and bankers are going to trial. But it is all a trick. The elite promotes manipulated leaders emerged from protesters for channeling protests and provide an illusion of democratic regeneration and hope. European government is occupied by technocrats who replace old inefficient and corrupt politicians. An apparently democratic European state is established but governed by an untouchable elite. In the United States, the crisis provokes serious riots. Armed groups fight against the state, many of them manipulated by the elite. There are crimes and innocent victims. Federal government establishes state of emergency and martial law to regain control. Female camps begin to operate. Dissidents and protesters are imprisoned, accused of terrorism and unpatriotic activities. Arrests and mass repression in name of security. Fascist police state with stars and stripes. The strategy of economic collapse culminates with the introduction of mandatory service to the state in USA and Europe. The mass of people who live in poverty is forced to work for the state in exchange for accommodation and food. The most anti-social people are selected to perform control tasks such as policemen or soldiers and repress the population. Government promotes reports and denunciations among citizens in exchange for benefits and recognition. At some point, during process of economic collapse, starts the second strategic maneuver, health crisis. An epidemic is raised to consolidate the process of mass population control. Mass media exaggerate situation and generate a state of panic. Demonstrations are prohibited under the pretext that help spread the epidemic. The epidemic is used to eliminate, silently, political dissidents. 
With the advance of the epidemic, the authorities established that the only way to control it is to implement a chip to monitorize every citizen and quickly detect new outbreaks. The chip is also used to store all the data of each person, its physical and psychological profile, and its electronic money. Physical money disappears by deemed unsanitary, unsafe and uncomfortable. These ideas are implanted in citizens' mind. Chip equals money. Chip equals medicines. No chip equals death. Combined with the chip, internet and system of cloud computing will be the basis of mass control. All information is saved in remote servers, a way of citizens' control to reach absolute domination of the web. Union of internet and chip becomes big brother. Third strategic maneuver, war. First phase, regional wars. During economic collapse and implementation of population control measures, regional wars have grown along Middle East. Africa. And Latin America. These conflicts may start after another false flag attack which causes the fall in stock markets and be the final trigger for the economic collapse or even the beginning of the epidemic if it's a biological attack. In this phase, great powers don't fall in direct conflict between them in the style of wars in Vietnam, Korea or Afghanistan. Second phase, World War III. After several years of regional wars, and once achieved total control of population, the Great War broke out between powers. Large masses of population, recruited by force, are sent to a chaotic and devastating war. Nuclear weapons tactics, chemical, biological, and climatic, are used on several big cities to eliminate part of world's population. Third phase, peace. The war ends when charismatic leaders, controlled by the elite, appear as spiritual saviors of the world and sign a peace based on unity of all nations under a single world government. Survivors, exhausted and submitted, accepted the ultimate establishment of a single world government controlled by an untouchable and semi-divine elite. The masters of the world already have a submissive mass of slaves controlled by high-tech and no one that opposed them. Nevermore. Total duration of this process can last between 10 and 30 years. Our world is on the brink of slavery and destruction. Governs us an elite group of psychos without any respect for human life, and at their service have an army of heartless and corrupt henchmen capable of anything to maintain their status. Are we going to allow these bastards eliminate us, or we are going to fight our survival? If we want to stop their clans, we must establish four immediate objectives. 1. Convince security forces to protect people, and don't obey the elite. 2. Attack and discredit mass media, responsible for spreading the lies of the elite. 3. Prosecute and punish severely to the political class that has served these criminals. All of them. They should fear the people. Forever. 4. Prevent deployment of chip. It's the key point. What can you do on a personal level? 1. Inform maximum number of people as possible on the plans of the elite. 2. Denounce manipulations of mass media. Use its own speakers. 3. Devote one hour per day to fight against elite plans as if it were a personal challenge. 4. Clean your mind of false values that have instilled you the system. 5. Don't follow blindly to any leader, by good it seems. Be yourself, the sole leader of your actions. 6. Don't fall in racial or ethnic hatred. It's a trap to divide the people. 7. Don't allow them to send you to any of their dirty wars. If you are going to hold a weapon, do it against them. 8. At this moment, all rulers in the world are illegitimate. Therefore, disobey this rotted authority as much as you can.
They have done you believe, you're a tiny insignificant grain of sand. A land more amidst the human ant hill. They have made you believe that you must not be different. That you shouldn't make decisions by yourself without asking permission. That you can't defend yourself. That you have no right to judge or to say what you think. That you don't have any value. They have made you believe that you can only live a small life with a small dream purchased in one of their stores. That your time on earth will not leave no trace. That the universe doesn't care what happens to you. That you're just a statistic, a number on a screen, easy erasable. But it's not true. If you're able to love and fight, then, a single finger of yours, already worth altogether all as hairs. Don't have any doubt. You are living most important moments of your life, because you'll be protagonist of most important moments in human history. In this change of era, you decide if you're a simple sheep led to slaughter, or you wear edges on one of people who fought to the last breath, to save mankind from slavery and destruction. Now, it's time to demonstrate your true value.